Good morning, and welcome to the church, Stanton Church of the Brethren. I am Marilyn Garber, your worship leader today. We are so glad that you have joined us, and we are looking forward to our guest speaker, Miles Seiler, who is pastor of the Smoky Row Baptist Church. And as you know, we've had a very close relationship with that congregation for a number of years. We look forward to hearing his message. Behind the scenes today, we have Galen Hevener as our organist, da David McMillan as our music director. On audio is Darlene and Frank Allman, and Mark Lane is on the camera, so we're in good hands today. I do have a few announcements I'd like to make. Offering Envelopes and devotional packages are available for pickup on Mondays through Thursdays from 1 p.m. Um, please let the office know if you would like to arrange delivery or a pickup out at your home. Uh, contact Annie, and she'll be happy to help you with these. In the packet are our Advent devotionals, our Daily Bread, three-month devotional, and our giving envelopes. So please take time to come by the church and pick them up. They're outside on a table. The Stanton Church of the Brethren Search Committee, as you know, is working very hard via Zoom and making progress toward a pastor for our church in the future. They've been reviewing profiles and uh, they have several candidates that are interested, so please continue to pray for our search committee. And also, uh, our Mary Martha Circle uh, has uh, some um, holiday gifts for you. Uh, if you're interested in our Happy Home flavorings, they're $2, and our apple butter is now $5 a quart and $4 a pint. That's a great Christmas idea. So, as we begin, Let's turn our thoughts to our worship and call to worship. We are entering the time of Advent in preparation for Christmas. Advent reminds us that if God is to be born again in the most ordinary places and parts of our world and our lives, that we need to prepare for it. We need to make the space in our lives where love might be born. Welcome to this tiny corner of a harsh and dark world. Together, let us practice being ready in the faith that Christ will come. Amen. Our Advent candles will be lit today by Lauren Hers and her girls, Sydney and Cameron. Don't be afraid. The old priest Zechariah never thought he could be a father. His wife Elizabeth had never been able to have children. When an angel appeared to Zechariah in the temple, he was shaken and overcome with fear. But what did the angel say? Don't be afraid. God has heard your prayer. Your wife will give you a son, and you are to name him John. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit. He may turn God's people back to the Lord. He will prepare the people for the coming of the Lord. He will return the hearts of the fathers to their children, and he will cause those who are rebellious to accept godly wisdom. What did Elizabeth say? How kind the Lord is. When we see God working, it can seem so surprising, unexpected, even terrifying. But God is kind. He sees what we need and when we need it. This Advent candle reminds us that God is surprising. God can turn our fear into surprise and our surprise into joy. Dear God, turn our fear into joy this Christmas season. Help us trust in you and to not be afraid. Amen. Hello again. Thank you for joining us for our children's story. Can anyone tell me what special time this is? Some might even call it a season. In the church this month, it's called Advent. Advent. Can you say that? 
It's a funny word, isn't it? Has anyone ever heard that word before? Well, today is the first Sunday of Advent. Yeah, and we can buy Advent calendars. Has anyone gotten an Advent calendar before? Has yours? It may have chocolate in it if you have one, or or other cool toys or something. Did you get one this morning? Before or after breakfast? What was the picture you opened today? Well, what kind of pictures are on Advent calendars? Yep, there are a lot of pictures on Advent calendars that remind us of Christmas. Actually, you can get Advent calendars at the store now that even have Minecraft themes or Paw Patrol themes and even other movie characters, but they aren't real Advent calendars. I have a real Advent calendar at home, and it has lots of pictures that remind me of the Christmas story. And it's got numbers on it. Why do you think that is? Yep, that's right. The numbers remind us how many days there are until Christmas. Do you ever count how many days you have until you get to an exciting day? Like how many more days till school is over? Or how many days till my birthday? Then, and when you can't wait for something to happen, we, we like to count the days. It's called counting down to something. So who knows how many days there are till Christmas? We call the time from now until Christmas Advent. That's what the word means. Ad means to and vent means come. It's a time when we prepare for someone very important to come. Who knows who that person might be? Yeah, Jesus. The church is counting down to the day when we remember Jesus' birth. And like any important event, we have lots of preparations during the next four weeks. At our church, we prepare for Jesus' birth by sharing the story of Jesus' birth in lots of ways. At home, we also do lots of preparations, and we can get very busy as we prepare for our holidays. The food for our Christmas dinner, the presents we buy for one another, and even our socially distant Zoomed Christmas parties. But we need to remember not to get so busy that we forget the main reason for our preparations. Christmas is a time when we celebrate the birth of Jesus, and we thank God for the hope, peace, joy, and love that Jesus brings into our lives. Today, we lit our first Advent candle to help remind us of the hope that Jesus brings to the hope of all our lives and the hope he wants us to bring to others. Over the next weeks, we're going to continue to light those candles and bring peace, joy, and love. And on Christmas Eve, we will light the fifth and last candle, the white candle or the Christ candle, to remind us of the birth of Jesus and to give thanks to God for giving us his most precious gift ever. Let's pray. Loving Father, we thank you that there are so many things that remind us of your son Jesus at this time of year. Christmas cards we send to our loved, loved ones, Christmas trees with a star on it, Christmas lights and decorations, presents we give and get. We want to thank you for all of these things, but most of all, for Jesus, who was the best present ever. Help us all to understand how much you love every one of us, from the tiny baby to the oldest person in the world. We thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Bye, everyone. Bye. Please pray with me. Almighty God, as we begin this season of Advent, remind us again that in the midst of our darkness, you are bringing us peace 
to calm our anxious spirits. Turn our hearts again toward you. Make us ready to receive your Son, our Savior. Give us the blessing of feeling your peace in our hearts. We ask this in the name of your precious Son, Jesus. Amen. Our first show in the morning is O Co Come Emmanuel, number 172. If you are actually using the hymnal, we are not singing verse number four. We're doing one, two, three, five, and six. first Sunday of Advent, full of faith or not, with our fair share of cynicism and despair, hope filled or hope less, and you remind us that it just matters that we are here. 
Remind us now of those places in our lives desperate for Advent, desperate for anticipation and hope and peace and love, desperate for your son to bring light into the dark corners, desperate for healing and wholeness and restoration. We must make space in our lives for love to be born, your love, a love that seeks the lost and the least. How do we do this? You, God, already know those things that fill up that space. We want to leave for you those things and people and situations that make us desperate for you. You know what steals our hope, bolsters our cynicism, and leads us to the pit of despair. Please take these things from us as we name them in silence. Thank you, God, for your everlasting love and steadfast mercy. Guide us through the coming days and weeks as we practice being ready in the faith that Christ will come, that the promise of old and new will be fulfilled, that the angels will sing, that we will be set free. Amen. Oh, 
Israel number 174.
Amen.